All right, guys, back to the second video on this YZ490. If you guys didn't watch the last video, go check it out. It's uh, me picking it up, and as you guys know, I got a great deal on this bike. It's 1400 bucks. Um, it's 1984. They're very hard to find nowadays. I know a lot of people in the comments said that they're super rare and they would pay like three grand for one. And I, I know for a fact that you cannot find one under two grand anywhere in my area, which is like Oshkosh, Appleton, Green Bay. There's not even one listed in that area. So it's a really good bike. I'm really happy to have it. We're just gonna go through everything now and uh, clean up the gas tank, put some new gas in it. Um, the guy before me said that that's probably a good thing to do. It's been sitting for a while. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is probably go through the carb, even though he said he cleaned it. Um, I don't know what he did to clean it. Uh, maybe he just quick blew it out and there's still crap in there. I don't know. Um, then we're gonna take it for a ride. Um, we might take it for a ride before, just to see how it runs before I do the gas, before I do the carb, and then after, um, we'll take it for a ride when I clean the carb and clean out the gas, just so you guys can see the difference. Um, we're gonna go through the braking system. I wanna clean up these rotors right here, um, the back and front. The back actually doesn't have one, so we won't be doing that. Just clean up the bike a little bit, make it look really nice, and uh, that's after we're gonna take a ride on it, and then just see what happens. Uh, I do wanna check the oil before I take it for a ride. That's a very important thing to do. It would be really bad if there wasn't. <laughs> Let's see here. Got the little gasket on it. I'm just gonna find a little dipstick here quick. Just for reassurance, this'll work just fine. Just stick this down in there. Oh yeah, there's oil in it for sure. If you guys look at my finger. Um, so it's all oiled up before. So we should be good to go there. Screw that back in. I'm looking to see if there's any big cracks in the motor or anything. I don't know why the guy sold it for so cheap. It's just mind boggling. I can't figure it out. Maybe it runs really bad. I have no idea, even though I wrote it and it seemed to be fine. Um, I don't know. There's even this leather pouch up here. It's kind of cool. Carry some tools in there, extra spark plugs. But yeah, we should be good to go. Let's, let's just see if we can take this thing for a rip and what it sounds like. My Instagram is two underscore vintage underscore if you're not following it. I post updates like this when new videos release. Um, I'm looking at some land, as you can see right there. New videos on that coming up. If you guys wanna go follow my Instagram, it's two underscore vintage underscore. I post behind the scenes, updates, all that good stuff on here. And uh, yeah, so it's a good place to follow. Um, that is the picture. So go follow two underscore vintage. My name is Joe Weber, I'm pretty easy to find. So yeah, back to the video. Um, Chuck just picked up this thing, by the way. Um, it is a Honda 125, ATC 125. Um, thing is pretty beat, not gonna lie. Picked it up for 75 bucks. He said it does not have a spark, and it turns over, no spark. So I was gonna help him later in the week and try to figure out the wiring. It's pretty easy to work with these little bikes. Just take off the gas tank and the plastics, and then you're right to the motor and then all the wiring goes pretty much directly right from these two wires. You've got the points cover, and then you've got the stator underneath here, and the two wires go into a cable. I'm guessing these are all corroded in there and just need to be filed off. Uh, then that thing will probably have spark and run just fine. So that's another project we're working on. Um, the bike is coming along, the RM125. New video on that coming out, I think, Wednesday, so look forward to that. I'm posting this video Sunday, so. Um, this new video, I did the frame and all that stuff. So all that stuff will be posted on Wednesday. But anyway, back to the bike. Let's start it up, get into the video, and ride this thing. All right, guys, we're gonna take some WD-40. I noticed that the rotors were pretty rusty. We're just gonna go ahead and spray the rotors with some WD-40. My chain lube is all gone, so this is the next best option. Just spray the chain and the rotors just because they're a little bit rusty. I don't want them sticking out. Spray that a little bit, spray that. Should be good to go there. Just a little bit, we'll go a long way. Also, before we start this beast up, you're gonna wanna wear a boot, a good motocross boot, so you don't break your foot. Cause uh, 
that backfire from the the kick lever can really do some damage. All right, Charlie's first attempt to start the YZ490. So we're gonna get the first impression of the compression. You can take it off the sand. It's a huge bike, isn't it? Not that big. Just the motor's big. <laughs> I'm just waiting because. Mm, this is my favorite. <laughs> Isn't that pretty good? Sometimes if you get it on like top dead center, you can't kick it over. <laughs> When I first got to the place, I was trying to kick it over in shoes. Oh, that was not good. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna start. I think the spark plug is toast. Toasteroni. You try with the choke. It was pretty smoky, so we'll try it with the choke now. Mm. <laughs> Fun times. Probably needs to be gone through. Probably follow the plug. Yeah, yippee. Compression's pretty good though, isn't it? Not too bad. We got the beast running. Run pretty good. All right guys, finally got the bike running. It was just really flooded it seemed like, but it uh, runs great now. Uh, just warming it up before we take the GoPro ride. Um, I took it for a couple laps around the house, and it seemed to be a little bit boggy, but a lot of people said in the comments that um, these 490s typically have to warm up for like five minutes before they become kind of crispy. So let's just go check the throttle response right now and see. Still pretty boggy. We're still gonna take it for a rip with the GoPro. So stay tuned. Should be interesting. All right guys, first ride on the beast. Let's see what this bike has to offer. Should be pretty crazy. Should be warmed up by now. Choke is off. Seems like it's running pretty rich. Take her for a test drive around the lawn quick here. As you can hear, pretty dang boggy. I'm pretty scared of this bike already. This thing feels. This is just a ginormous bike. Dang boggy. I don't know if it has to be rejetted or what. It's very boggy. I feel something coming up and hitting my leg. I wonder if it's the chain or what. Must just be the chain. Yeah, it's just WD-40 that I put on the chain. This thing is really, really rich right now. 
Oh, there we go. Pop the little wheelie. Now, baby, holy cow, that thing is fast. <laughs> it's just like the 500, the CR 500, super uh, the rattly handlebars and stuff. It's crazy. It wants to open up, you can hear it. Still getting used to riding this big of a bike. Haven't ridden one in a long time. So uh, bear with me while I'm getting the hang of it still. I think it's still super boggy. Um, I might have to rejet it here, but man. Definitely needs to be jetted, um, or just I think the fuel is mixed like super rich because it's like brrr, brrr. but other than that, I mean, it's super fast when it opens up. Yeah, I don't know what all this crap is all over it. WD 40, probably. I was hitting my leg and stuff. Yeah, WD 40. Huh, yeah, things. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's freaky. I'm scared of it. <laughs> no, I know. The handlebars are like rattly and stuff. Just like the 500. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, thank God. All right, well, that's the first ride in it. Obviously, we have some work to do on it. Um, we're going to drain out the old fuel. It probably has, uh, what's it called in it? No, um, the stuff to leave it over the winter. Um, whatever that stuff is. What? Yeah, stable in it might have. Because usually, stable makes it run a little bit weird. Um, or the guy just mixed it super, super rich. Um, we're going to go through the carb, look at the jetting, all that good stuff next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It's uh, definitely a fun fun bike to ride. Um, and I can see I can see why people die on it. <laughs> Thing is radically beast. I'll just leave this out here for right now. But yeah, it's it's a fun bike. Definitely an experience riding this thing. It's crazy. I did not think it was going to be that crazy. It's like riding a bull. <sighs> Smoking out the pipe pretty good, so we are running pretty rich. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. We're going to switch back to the camera and talk about it for a little bit. Maybe watch Chuck ride his three-wheeler here quick. Alright, so plan with this thing next video. We're going to be taking off the carburetor, looking at the jets, seeing what's in there for jets. I want to look at the, the reeds, see what those look like. Um, I might take off 
this back end pipe and see if that's plugged up a little bit. Not like enough um, air come through. We're gonna check the, the air screw settings. Uh, that might be wrong. And uh, I already checked the plug today and it was a brand new plug in it. So I don't know if the guy had issues with it running before or what, but I never like it when people put brand new plugs in it. It's always a bad sign. Um, other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. Compression is still there after the ride, which means that the, the guy did not put oil down the cylinder or anything. <sighs> if anything, it got harder after the ride. So that's a really good sign. Um, let's check the wheel bearings here. Wheel bearings are super tight in there. That's good, my other bike was clapped. So this is really good. We're definitely gonna drain the gas on the next video. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. We should be good to go then. Then we'll take it for a ride and see what happens. Um, Chuck's almost ready to take this beast for a ride. I'm pumped for it. Yeah. Tell him what we had to do for it to get it running quick. I don't even remember. We all we did was these wires were all plugged into weird areas, and we just unplugged them. Yeah. <laughs> then we got spark. Um, the plug was fine. Everything else was fine. Charlie did a carb clean on it, and the pull cord is gone, so we just started up with the drill. Oh baby. My mat. That's not good. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mint. Running out of gas. Yeah. Well, goes in the gear. Thing's pretty cool. Yeah. 75 bucks. What can you get for 75 bucks? This. <laughs> There's the mint bike right there. Mint YZ490. My mint truck. Charlie's pet. Tell him what you did with the truck. 11 people in that thing. Were you at Country USA or what? Yeah. Country USA, 11 people fit in the bed of the truck. People were looking at me so weird, they're like, dude, your suspension is clap. It's still upright, so it's yeah. not, it didn't, didn't do anything to it. It's probably not great. It's probably not the best to do donuts. That many people. Probably not. <laughs> Too bad we don't have the power, the, the pressure washer is broken. It is? Mm -hmm. People left all their crap. There's a book. You guys were reading out there? I'm really sad on it. <laughs> Learning. Knowledge, guys. Knowledge. Even when you're having fun, you have to be reading. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. More to come on the YZ490 next video. Lots of big plans for this. It'd be sweet to take it off a jump and die. I just found a three-day ticket. Really? There, that's worth the 75 bucks for the three-wheeler. Perfect. But anyway, um, like I said before, lots of plans for the YZ490. Um, I really want to make it run right. And uh, maybe Chuck will pick it for a ride in the future. But uh, yeah, Chuck, you got an Instagram? No. Chuck.Weber14. Chuck.Weber14. Go follow him. Do people actually follow you from here? Have you been getting any recently? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go follow Chuck. I don't know what he posts, but, and then mine is two underscore vintage underscore. Stay up to date uh, with behind the scenes on this bike and every other bike I pick up. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, we, oh.